Sid Vicious, Sid Justice, Psycho Sid, however you knew him and you did know him, Sid has sadly passed away at the age of 63. Um, about an hour ago on Facebook, his son Gunnar wrote, um, I'm deeply saddened to share that my father has passed away after battling cancer for several years. He was a man of strength, kindness, and love, and his presence will be greatly missed. We appreciate your thoughts and prayers as we grieve this loss. Details for a memorial service will be shared soon. Thank you for your support. An imposing heavyweight billed at six feet nine inches tall, Sid was seen by many the walking archetype of a main event wrestler. He began his career in Memphis in 1987 as the Masked Lord Humongous, a character inspired by a villain from the movie Mad Max 2 The Road Warrior. He also performed for New Japan and Dallas's World Class Group during his earlier years, taking on the name Sid Vicious while working for the latter. In 1989, Sid joined WCW, teaming with Dan Spivey as the Skyscrapers. As Sid Vicious, his character was a sadistic and brutal heel, aligning with his powerful in-ring style. The following year, Yudi joined the Four Horsemen, aligning with Ric Flair, Arn Anderson and Barry Windham. He even unsuccessfully challenged Sting for the NWA world title at that year's Halloween Havoc. In 1991, Sid jumped to the WWF, where he was renamed Sid Justice. During his time with the promotion, he feuded with The Undertaker, Jake Roberts, and Hulk Hogan, working with Hogan in the main event of WrestleMania 8. Sid left the WWF shortly after WrestleMania due to a combination of injuries and a desire to pursue a career in softball, a sport that he was incredibly passionate about. Sid returned to WCW in 1993 and once again adopted the Sid Vicious persona. His second run in WCW was scattered with high-profile matches and main event status. However, a backstage altercation with fellow wrestler Arn Anderson in 1993, where both men were hospitalized after a scuffle involving scissors, led to Sid's departure from WCW. After returning to the WWF in 1996 under the name Psycho Sid, Sid finally captured the first world title of his career, defeating Shawn Michaels at that year's Survivor Series. His second reign ended with a loss to The Undertaker in the main event of WrestleMania 13. Sid's world title reigns were not especially long, but they were significant. He was a champion during a turbulent time for the company, bridging the gap between the new generation era and the Attitude Era. During his final major career run in WCW, he held the promotion's world title twice and the United States title once. However, Sid's career came to an abrupt halt in January of 2001 when he suffered a severe leg injury during a match at WCW's Sin pay-per-view event. Following this injury, Sid was mostly retired from the ring. He did work sporadic matches, the last of which occurred in 2017. There's already been a few tributes. As I say, this news only broke uh, within the last hour or so, but Booker T has tweeted, without Sid Vicious, I don't think my brother and I would have made it to WCW. His impact on this business was undeniable and he paved the way for so many of us. My deepest condolences to his family during this difficult time. Rest in peace, Sid. Uh, Sam Roberts, uh, who uh, obviously grew up watching Sid, yeah, big fan of his work. Uh, I'll never forget being in Madison Square Garden for this or being terrified as a kid watching him send all of his opponents away on stretchers with a call 911 placard. Rest in peace, Sid, the master and the ruler of the world. And Mark Mero as well has tweeted, so sad to hear that friend and wrestling superstar Sid has passed away at 63 years young from cancer. He was one of the first wrestlers I wrestled when I was trying out for WCW. What a great guy. My heart, thoughts and prayers go out to his family, friends and his millions of fans. It's weird, we were just setting up for this video and Sam and I said in unison, uh, he really, really terrified me as a kid, didn't he? And he was, he was legit, well, he was so imposing. It was a time coming out of like the comic book era, you know, you had Undertaker was sort of one of the last big characters and, and Undertaker was obviously evil and sinister, but it was very mystical and there was the urn and there was lightning and he'd levitate and everything. But Sid 
could just, he could just rip your head off. He was huge. He was terrifying. He was tapped. He was crazy. He could go from smiling to screaming in your face in a matter of seconds. He was like if you took Jake Roberts and just dialed it way past 11 and ripped the knob off and then made him <laughs> huge. You know, when he draws you in real quiet and then just, just snaps. Oh, man, the cr- intensity. Oh, the intensity was it. incredible. The intensity of him. Yeah, for sure. It's, it's weird. I was watching um, Old Raw and you remember when Heath Slater was doing the thing where he would call out various wrestling yeah. legends um, and they would come out and then beat him up. Yeah. And he, uh, it, it, was, it was brilliant, brilliant stuff. But one of those was Sid. Yeah. And Heath did his little intro bit and I can't remember the, the exact words. It was like, oh, I am the master and ruler of <laughs> WWE. And then Sid's, Sid's music, music hits is, and he yeah. comes out and like... He had barely really aged. He was still just this giant, <laughs> menacing individual. He's still like, it, it's, it was crazy. Like, you'd see him pop up for interviews, and it was like, he still just looks like Sid. He yeah. still looks like he could just tear you in half like a phone book. For sure. And he did with yeah. Heath. One of the best power bombs of all time. Oh, just his, God, pre- yeah. his presentation in WWE, he would come down to the ring, he would do the fist bump on the way down, um, and then that pyro oh, behind him. Do you remember the. Six. Yeah, the giant Sid. So good. Oh. The presentation was amazing. I think. I think um, throughout Sid's career, especially more modern fans who maybe didn't grow up watching some of Sid's stuff, um, I think they focus too much or have focused too much on the negatives. And you get, you know, jokes about, oh, he went off to play softball and all of that. And we're live, pal, that that, that sort of stuff. And I think a lot of people just see him as a body guy, right? Because he's just a huge unit. He was more. But he was so much more than that. He was so much more than that. Um, And those negatives, there really aren't that many of them. He was legit legit a uh, really really strong wrestler um and it's just it's so so very sad it's, at the age of 63 as well he's also somebody that it doesn't like whenever i've heard people bring him up on podcasts it, not a lot of people seem to have much negative to say about him at, at all like he seems like he was kind of universally loved even in moments when i mean the arn anderson situation it's something that people just frequently when you, who were there at the time just look back at and almost recall with a sense of terrified joy like it, it's like he just seems to have been just a character as a person as well as you know Sid the character we all grew up with and we yeah. know and love and then in his later years uh, he very much became a, quite a private man there was a, a Twitter account, uh, account going about that did a lot of engagement that people believe was the real Sid that wasn't yeah. the real Sid that was somebody pretending to be Sid unfortunately um, and actually he was battling this uh, this cancer behind closed doors um, um, it wasn't widely circulated. I think people knew that he was ill, but maybe not to the extent that he he clearly was. Um, and it's just so very sad. So um, he's a guy who wrestled in so, so many major promotions. You will not find any difficulty in seeking out some of Sid's matches. It's a great way to spend your evening celebrating the life of a brilliant man. Uh, WCW a really champion, man. WWF champion, WrestleMania main event, the Starcade, Starcade main as well. event. Uh, like, and, and, uh, Resume I, is, speaks for itself eh? yeah speaks Just for itself uh, incredibly in, incredibly sad news uh, to be bringing you this evening um thank you very much for watching this uh, video much appreciated and of course all of us at cultaholic extend our condolences to sid's family and friends at this very very difficult time indeed please just go and watch some sid go matches and watch some tonight sid. go and watch some sid